Hey guys, PMHK here, obviously. Now, Apple Pay is finally available in South Africa, although only ABSA and NetBank support. I've been able to use my NetBank card to make a couple of purchases using my phone, uh, but here's how you actually add your card to your phone. It's actually really easy. Now, to add your bank card, all you need to do is go to your wallet app. As you guys can see, I already have a NetBank card added here, but I'm going to try and add this card that I have here. It's it's actually a card from an American bank, but uh, it should actually work similar if you're adding a South African bank. So if I press continue and it actually comes to this page where it says add card, I can obviously scan my card or enter it manually and it gives me the name on the card and the card number. Let's just hope this card will go through. After I press next, it asks me for the security card card for the security code that comes behind uh the bank card which i'm going to enter now and then i press uh, next and then it verifies with the card issuer i'm pretty sure also this card will work so i press add it's i think it's still verifying with card issue actually saying setting up card Okay, card details, adding to wallet. Uh, obviously, as you guys can see, this card would also work. If I actually knew about this, I was gonna add this a while back. Uh, so I can either uh, verify my card by email or I can call actually the bank issuer to verify my card. But I'm gonna do this via email. So if I press uh, next, they most probably gonna send me a code for me to enter here. And then it's going to verify the card and add it to uh, my wallet. Similar thing will happen if you're obviously registering a South African card, which I have already done. And the steps were basically similar, just that instead of them uh, sending the verification code via email, they sent it via text message. Now, after you've successfully added your card for you to be using with your Apple Pay, paying is actually really easy. Now, I managed to pay for my petrol now twice and all I literally had to do is put my phone uh, next to the machine. Obviously, the machine needs to support tap to pay. So all I had to do with the iPhone 12 was get near the machine. It actually prompts you. The wallet application actually pops out automatically and then it prompts you to double tap the power button and then after you double tap the power button it will ask to authenticate your face so if you're using phones like the iphone se that still has the touch id all you're going to do is put your finger and it will authenticate and the payment would be made straight forward now i've tried this at uh, the petrol station as i mentioned i also did it at woolies and it actually worked uh, straight uh, forward obviously it asks again for you to double tap the power button and then you authenticate with your face obviously also you can use your passcode if your face recognition failed which i think with me was failing because uh, most of the times i had the mask on so it would automatically ask me for uh, my password which a couple of times i actually uh, did put and you're also able to pay with your iPhone if you've set up Apple Pay on your iPhone, which I actually failed to do so because uh, prior to me trying, I did not go into my watch to read how to use it. But with the watch, unlike with the phone where you just get close, it prompts you. With the watch, you actually need to go to the wallets app because that's where you add uh, your card. Go to the wallets app and then you get ready to pay. It also asks you to double tap uh, the home button or this uh, small button here. So even if you are actually on your home screen, if you just double tap the button, it goes directly to your wallet and it asks you to basically read your card. Now on the wallet app itself, you can see the, the cards that you've actually added. I've only added my NetBank card. And one thing that's actually good that I actually like about this, I'm guessing even if you have multiple cards, you're going to be able to see all your transactions. So if I click on the NetBank uh, card, you can see all the transactions that I've actually made. As you guys can see, there's one transaction, one transaction decline at 
clicks i really don't know what happened there but at least i can actually see here that that transaction was the client and you can also if you go into one of these transactions you can actually see exactly where the transaction was made it actually also gives you uh, the date and time and you guys can see they gives you a little map for you to see exactly where it was done as as well and then you have the report and issue button uh, down there which since i didn't have really any issues i am not going to be clicking the button so furthermore on your settings up there on those three dots you can uh, call your bank you can also visit the netbank website you can open the netbank app you can also uh, show updates here if you toggle updates on or updates off which allows netbank to show updates and offers related to uh, the card and then you have card number express travel right now it's off uh, then you have express travel setting and you have your device number which is the unique identifier number of this device that's synchronized to the card the apple watch would also have a different number you have your billing address terms and condition and you have a remove card now apple pay doesn't only work with like physical uh, card readers you can also use uh, applications for you to pay with uh, your card now if i go to this end clothing application here uh, that i normally i uh, used to check clothing I actually i've never bought from this uh, website yet which is something that i'm going to do in future if i click on my card you guys can see there it supports apple pay all i need to do is i click on apple pay and it will prompt me to uh, double click the uh, home button or the power button for me to pay which is actually something that is scary because this is really easy for you uh, to actually buy and as you guys can see it actually gives me all my information there where they're going to ship and uh, the method for shipping which is uh, FedEx and is going to cost 38 30 rands if I actually double tap there and you also have the amount that you're going to be paying so as soon as i double tap here it obviously confirmed and it's going to charge my card but we are not going to be doing that on uh, this video so yeah let me know down in the comments if you've actually managed to add your card and again it will only support for the time being or for the time of recording of this video uh, apple pay only supports absa and netbank but if you are banking with one of these two uh banking institutions uh, let me know down in the comments how has your experiences been with apple pay otherwise uh this is going to be it for this video make sure you uh, like the video also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed subscribe click the notification bell button so you can get notified whenever i upload a brand new video and i'm going to catch you guys on my uh, next one peace